Sometimes the lighting just makes everything look crazy. Okay, hold on a second. All right, today we are working on Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Hi fam, welcome. So if you look on the live stream printables, you'll see the resource there. Um, let me make sure. Okay, Grisha is here. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me get this. Hello, como, hello. Oh, you know what, my cat's meowing outside the door. Why do all cats do this? Like you open the door and they're like, I don't know if I want to come in. Come on, come on. There you are. Okay. All cats do that, don't they? They just want to like be invited. But once they're inside, they're like, I don't know if I want to commit to being inside and staying here. Like just leave the door open. Kristen, you're back. Thank you, Tana. I got this dress to announce, um, the baby gender reveal and I wanted to throw my whole family off because everybody was really looking forward to having a little girl. I mean, everyone was excited for a baby in general, but Jaime is one of three boys and uh, there's already grandsons on his side of the family. There's two boys. And so um, they haven't had a girl over there on that side. And my dad said that he, um, he felt like he missed so much of my life growing up because he was working. He worked two jobs so that my mom wouldn't have to work. And so he said he he wanted another little girl to enjoy this time around. So I wore a lot of blue to throw them off. Okay, so today we're working on staying alive. All right, let's hit the like button if you're looking forward to staying alive. The song. Um, grab your snack, grab something to drink, and now the cat wants out, of course. Let's look at her, look at her. Look at her being dramatic. Hi, normal. Cats, cat's gonna cat. Nikonana, hi. All right, how did I miss this? How did you miss what? Okay, so this is this song is it's odd. I was expecting a lot more chords, so um, a lot of it is in the strum and in the singing. So uh, go to an F minor. Let me let me move the camera down a bit. Okay, so we're gonna do down up, chuck up, down up. You don't know how to chuck yet i have a tutorial for that but you obviously want to hang out here so you can do down up mute up down up actually i might like that better okay so there's that really iconic bass line right and then the strings come in. So um, you're gonna be doing F minors and E flats for that intro. So this is what it will sound like. One, two, F minor. Down, up, chuck up, down, up, chuck up, down, up, chuck up, E flat. Back to F minor. And that's your whole intro. So let's do that three more times. One, two, a uh, one, two, ready, go, down, up, chop, up, down, three, four, E flat, one, F minor, hello, Monica, okay, let's try it again, two more times, let me know with an emoji, if you're okay, like give me a thumbs up emoji if it's okay. Um, or give me some red emojis if you need me to stop or slow down or explain. Hi, Anna. 
Let's try again. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Two, three, four, E flat. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, F minor. How are you? Two, two, three, four. That's our intro. Let me try that again. Last time. One. your whole intro. Stefan, hi. Now, um, I'm trying to get the melody here. Nelita and Mami, can you show E minor? Yes, zero fret, three fret, three fret, one. Zero, three, three, one for E flat. Zero, three, three, one. Now you can tell me That's our intro, okay? I mean, our verse. Now you can tell. We start on the word tell. Now you can tell by the way I use my walk. That's all on F minor. If you'd like to sing lower, no. You can sing down here, no, no. There we go, no. <laughs> if you wanna sing an octave lower, now you can tell, now you can tell by the way I use my walk on the wood. <laughs> so if you want to sing lower, that's that's your octave right there. Okay, so that's going to be... Now you can tell, now use my walk on the wood. Now tell me talk. So it's F minor, F minor, E flat, E flat, F minor. So true strumming patterns, two strumming patterns. So down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up, E flat. Hey Pete, down up, chuck up, and then back to F minor. Okay, so it's gonna be F minor, F minor, E flat, F minor, and do that again for the next line over. Hi Karen, your pants are over there, and the plant we named after you. <laughs> Baritone burning out like that. Okay, let's try that again. The verse, the chords in the verse. One, two, a one, two, you got this. Go one, two, E flat, one, F minor. Madeline, how you doing today? <laughs> okay, let's try again. One, two, there, the pants are over there, by the way, because Daniela was playing with them. One, cycle of that. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, E flat. Next line. Two, E flat. F minor. There you go. Let's try that again and then we'll add the words. One, two, one, two, F minor. if you can. So there are four strumming pattern um, on the each line. F minor, F minor, E flat, F minor. Look up. F minor, F minor, E flat, F minor. The second line is exactly the same. F minor, F minor, E minor, E flat, 
F minor. For upward strumming, can I use my thumbnail? Yeah, there are some people who use the thumbnail on the up strum. So yeah, you can definitely do that. The E chords are hard. It's just they, they take more frets, right? So if you're playing on a tenor, it's gonna feel like it's a lot of space. But if you try it on a concert you or even a soprano, it should feel a little bit more comfortable. And yeah, let's hit that like button. How do you all like my haircut? I cut my own hair. I wanted more layers. <laughs> this reveal stuff, how did I miss this? Oh, it was last year. Um, I don't know if I shared much. I was, I don't know if I shared that part. Okay, I'm finding B flat tricky. Let me see if there's another play where we, where, okay. There should be another place where we can play G flat. This is G. A, no, G sharp, A, A sharp. You can play it up here. It's not very convenient, but um, it's seven, five, six, five. You're so brave to cut your own hair. I feel like people are brave trusting strangers with their hair. <laughs> That's a B flat. A higher sounding one. Um, let me see if you're doing E flat. You're going from F minor. I don't know if there's an F up there. There should be. This is C minor, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. So you can do. You can do bar the the eighth fret and ring finger on the ninth fret, tenth fret of G string. That's your F minor, and come down three frets for that uh, B flat. Oh, you know what? There's no B flats here. They're E flats, E flats, E flats. You're making me think today. D, D, F, F sharp, D. No. A, A, B sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, B sharp, D. Um. 10, 9, 8, 8 is an E flat. So if you want to do it up there. I think. I don't know. It's kind of high up there. Anyway, let's try it again. But if you're having a hard time with a specific chord, find an inversion of it. Go to ukulelehelper.com. And type in any chord, and if you uh, like tap on the arrows next, it'll give you all of the different possibilities of that chord that you can do on your ukulele. So if one doesn't work for you, maybe something else will. Um, there we go. Shelly's giving you some advice. Thank you, Shelly. All right. So let's do intro and verse. One, two, one, two, and I'll go slower this time. One, two, one and two and intro go.
try it again. Um, let's try it again. Same thing. One, two, one, two, the intro go. I expected like a million chords for this one and there are not a million chords. Did you feel that way? I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated, but I guess the, the complexity of this song is in the vocals. We're going to do it two more times. Two more times and then we'll take a little break. Intro. One, two, one, two, F minor. Hi, Paolo. Take a little break. One more time. One, two, intro. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk on the words, but now don't talk. By the way, the chorus, I think, only has that F minor. I'll double check the score, by the way. Maybe transpose down half a step includes the dreaded E chord, but maybe a little bit easier. Yeah, definitely. If you want to transpose it down a step, you would be doing E minor, E and uh, A? A minor, E and A. So you would be on E, uh, e minor. No, uh, E minor. E minor. I think it's a D. D. And then B flat would turn into an A. Back to E minor. Yeah, you can. Oh, did somebody give a super chat and I missed it? Oh, there it is. Um, Athok Pan, Lanjing Ba, Luang. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, cheers to your health. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, yes, so Shelly, thank you um, for the suggestion to transpose. So um, whenever you need to transpose something, find the note and then, um, like for example, we're playing an F minor, so go to an F and we wanna move it over a fret, right? So we're gonna open. 
that's an E. So your F minor is going to turn into an E minor. Then you have an E flat. So let's find an E, e flat. E sharp, D sharp, D. Uh, D sharp. C, C sharp, D, D sharp. So D sharp is an E minor. So let's drop it down. It becomes a D. And then B flat becomes an A. So. Don, are you by any chance related to a Mark Rasmussen? I know your your last name. I know there are other people in the world named Rasmussen or Rasmussen, depending on where you put the inflection. But my like most dearly beloved music teacher was Mark Rasmussen, and I don't think he has social media, so I would love a way to get in touch with him and tell him like I really appreciate his teachings. So there's that option. OMG, I'm so glad I set my alarm even though I was late. So I, so we learn to, since you haven't been to one of these in a little bit, we're taking a few weeks to learn one song because we only meet on Mondays now. And today we're doing Staying Alive by Bee Gees and we're working on the intro, verse, and chorus. Or intro, verse, one, chorus, one. And this way it helps us to, instead of rushing through one song like we used to, which was really fun, Sorry, instead of rushing through one song like we used to, which was really fun, I will say I want to go back to that at some point. It allows us to really focus on one song and get it performance ready or as close to that as possible. Okay, so I'm going to be playing it in the F minor version because that's the original key of the song. And I always want to try and get you as close to the original key as possible. I have a nephew, Mark R, but he is not musical. Okay, so it's a different Mark. Oh, you can turn this into a ballad if you wanted to with that picking pattern. G, E, A, and C. And just do one and two. to our song and build it. You start with real gentle picks and right before the chorus you add some down strum. Okay so let me see where in the chorus the music changes. I like that with the picking. I'll be right back. Gotta pull up the printable. Yeah, the printable just has the first part that we're learning today. So this is what I'm looking at. Uh, switching to B flat is a challenge. Let me see. Let me see how I'm doing the switch. Okay, Neko Nana. Since I'm switching to B flat, I'm leaving the pinky down first. And that's almost like a door hinge, right? It allows me to rotate the finger and land the B flat. And then I let go to land the other fingers. Um, quickly enough, yeah. Yeah. On the words, and now it's, you should not be holding F minor anymore, switch. 
Even if you're strumming on an open uke, it's all right. Because you want to land on Okay, so there are some changes on the last line of the course. I will add that for next week's practice, but everything is pretty much the same here. So let's do a few more run-throughs from the top. From the top, from the top. And if you find the E minor version easier, but you still want to sound like what I'm doing here, slap a capo on the first fret and no one will ever know. Okay, here we go, F minor. And our pattern is down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up. But if you want to beautify it with picking, then you can you can do G E A at the same time, and then C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Okay, so you choose. Okay, here we go. One. Thank you, Kara. Two. One, two. Intro ready. Go. there for the singing. Olivia, hi! But hopefully it kind of makes sense. Thank you, Anna. Let's try it again two more times from the top. One, two, uh, one, two, ready, go. gonna get a full principle it's just what we're working on today great music for writing the roster for writing the roster what do you mean for writing the roster it is really great music I hope that you're enjoying it it's really great also for practicing kind of chords that we stay away from for a long time like that F minor E flat B flat we don't play those very often yes I got it this time my wife just walked in disco dancing. Oh, love me like you do. Oh, the song. Now, let me see what the BPM for it, because I think it's pretty fast. Um, oh, I don't know if Siri will tell me. Because here on the music, it just says medium rock beat. <laughs> That's very vague. Um, let me try. I'm good for practicing chucking. Now, Shelly, did you say that you're gonna do a different strumming pattern on the chorus? Was it down up, Chuck? 
So many good harmonies in BG songs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Love me some F minor. <laughs> that would be a funky thing to put on a shirt, right? Love me some F minor. People would be like, what? 100 to 120. Thank you, Stefan. Always coming in clutch. Okay, let's do it one more time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. sound is it's back oh that's so weird i broke youtube that's how bad my singing is okay um let me see Stay in the now do you all like it when i add the slash marks even in the verses or do you prefer them just on the intro um, YouTube can't handle me. No, it's like this girl needs to shut up. <laughs> but I'm teaching, so. I cannot wait to see y'all's covers of this. When strings are buzzing, does that mean it's time for sh uh, new strings? It can mean like six different things. So, um, the slashes help, slashes help. Okay, I'll add the slash marks then. Uh, the question about, um, strings buzzing, it could mean like six things. So, there's a really great article that says um, uh, the cause for ukulele buzzes. I recommend you look it up and uh, find one of those because it could be the strings, it could be the saddle, it could be the nut, it could be your ukulele warped, like if it's too dry or too humid where you live. So it could be several things. Okay, so let me look at Shelly's uh, strumming pattern suggestion. Oh, that's where it is. Down up, tuck. Down up, tuck. That's it. That's it. Got it. Okay. Um, buzzing strings cannot, it can mean not pressing on the strings correctly. It can also mean that um, sometimes a ukulele will, the neck will warp. And so the strings are touching at a weird spot or the action is too low. And so sometimes the strings will touch other fret wires. And so it's kind of tricky. Um, can you say about beginner that if one can practice the 30 day challenge, can play a song or need something extra? If it is, can you provide us something more? We need beginners attract to follow steps. Okay, so if you are a beginner and you do the 30 day you challenge, yes, you can do songs on your own. But um, if you still feel like too much of a beginner, the next challenge you should do is the um, 30 day uke song challenge. The uke song challenge will take you from learning how to play a two chord song to like something by the Beatles with 12 chords. And after that, you'll be able to play pretty much anything that you set your mind to. Alrighty, everybody, we're at 91 likes. Cheers, cheers, cheers. If we get to 100 likes, I'm gonna start putting clothes on because this is a reverse strip tease. <laughs> okay, let's do a playthrough again. <laughs> and the likes go up, like, yes, please put clothes on. <laughs> um, let's do it again. Let's do it again, a little bit faster. Robert Puesta. So this will be our tempo, all right? So 98 likes, thank you. One, two, one, two, faster and. E flat now. Yep, try changing them. Try. 
harmony. <laughs> All right, we're at 100 likes. Let's put on some clothes. Putting on the sunny side up cardigan. <laughs> All right, sunny side up cardigan it is. What? Oh, it, it looks so cute on video though. <laughs> Thank you for the likes, everybody. Okay, let's try it one last time and then. We're gonna take a little break and then meet on Instagram because I go live on Instagram on the same day and we do the same thing just in less time. Hi, Lynn. Um, I found uh, from your feedback that it helps to do both live streams because it just syncs in a little differently. Hi, Sharon. So I recommend you follow me over to Instagram if you can and we'll practice it over there too. I reintroduce it because not everyone who uh, shows up saw this live stream. Mm. but uh <laughs> reverse striptease again but hi kyle kyle edwards edwards sounds so like i don't know fancy like it sounds expensive you know how some names sound expensive like plazola is my last name and it sounds like a brand of food <laughs> but edwards sounds expensive I don't know if that makes any sense. Probably not. All right, let's do one final playthrough. So we have a final playthrough near the end. So in case you want to practice with it, you can come back to it. Please let me know. How did that fast version feel? I feel like I was rapping the songs in falsetto, <laughs> but it feels good, right? I just saw the notification. It's okay, Mike. We're going to do this in Instagram. Um, <laughs> please start an A to Z ukulele course. I have thought about that. Okay, um, Abid, you don't have to put the comment three times. I got it, I got it. <laughs> all right, let's do this. A faster version. All right, all right, Sharon. One, okay, one, two, <laughs> the best test. One, two, one, two, ready, go. last section I haven't put it in there but it's F minor E flat F minor and then C minor but I'll add it for the next practice that we have all right fam so let me check out of here and then uh, get ready for a live on Instagram how does that sound that was really fun yeah how did you feel with that faster faster version how did it feel please let me know Falcon hello the down up chuck, down up chuck is easier for me when playing fast. Good, that was fun. See you on Instagram. Yeah, so the Instagram starts right on the hour. So whatever hour it's gonna be with you, um, like wait till it turns the hour. So like right now it's 10.47 here. So I'm gonna start at 11. So it's gonna be a little, little while. I thought there would be so many chords for this song, surprising. I know, I'm very pleasantly surprised, but like you can see, um, and the score, like there's a chord up here. You see this little box right there? It's a guitar. And see how there's nothing for like two lines until you see the next one. And um, the original song calls for all of these seventh chords, F minor seven, B flat seven, but for ukulele, I don't think we need everything. This is why I kind of arrange things to fit us and meet our needs. Um, so I change a bunch of them. Bravissima! The house was doing his best Travolta impression. Oh, how cute! 
Um, can you do Lovely by Billie Eilish? I don't know that song. And I did a Billie Eilish song here on the channel and the, the community wasn't too thrilled. So I think maybe Ricky Som Somborn should be your access for these Billie Eilish songs. I think my audience likes the old classics a lot better with some exceptions of new songs. Like if Ed Sheeran uh, or what's his name, the piano player. What would I do with all your smart mouth? Da -na 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 -na. Who am I? T I'm not John Mayer. What's what's his name? Anyway, this audience tends to love all the classics, with a few exceptions of like really really great new songs. Like, but it has to be really good. Y'all are picky, John Legend. Thank you. And it, if it's not like all John Legend songs, you're into it. It has to be a song that's gonna be timeless. So it's gonna be a classic, and then you like it. Y'all are picky and you have ref you have expensive taste. That's what it is. I like the newer and I'm old. Oh, I love that, Susan. I love the older and I'm I'm relatively young. I'm I'm approaching that age where I'm not gonna be able to say I'm young anymore. I love with playing those classics. Susan, what's a new song that you really like? Owl City. I have thought about Owl City actually. Owl City's not that old, but I think there's some classics. Somebody requested Ar Arctic Monkeys too, and I thought that's really good. My watch is like, time to stand up and move a little bit for a minute. We're old, that's what she's saying. Yeah, we're all old here. We're not young. Most of us are not Gen Z, so so we're, we're older. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right, so let's meet in like 10 minutes on Insta. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for the likes. We made it over 108. Let's meet again here next week on Monday to continue learning. So we'll review what we did quickly and then we'll add a few more parts to the song. We may finish the song next week and then do it a third week just to kind of do playthroughs, playthroughs, playthroughs and choose the next song. So it might be a, a two session song I thought it would be more, but some songs are just going to be easier. Alrighty, fam. Let's let's go hang out on Instagram in like 10 minutes. See you there. Ciao, ciao.